I cross in love to die for your sin. Did you know that? Let, story? let me finish. Okay. Okay. To die okay. for your sin. And he says, God demonstrates his own love to us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So that's the greatest love. Now, anybody in history... It's a great, it's a, it's a great love. It's a great any, love. Anybody in history, like the Crusades, and they kill and burn. That is not what Christ taught. And the disciples, Paul, Peter, and his disciples, they never started an army to defeat the Roman Empire. There were people who just went preaching the gospel. They were locked up. Have you read Paul in what 2 Corinthians 13? 2 Corinthians 11 to 13. He was whipped, beaten, mocked. He never took arms. And they defeated the Roman Empire, not by weapons, but by so, some the fact that Nora, some historians Nero, would disagree with that. Nero, they really would disagree Nero with that. Got Christians and put them on torches for his garden and burned them. I understand. So, I understand, so they but defeated. People were doing that. People. People they defeated. They defeated the Roman Empire, not by swords, so many, many but by love. Mate, listen, no, many historians. historians. Thank you. Many historians. Last, last bit, many and then we finish then. Why? Because I'm getting tired and I need a okay. rest. Many okay. historians would have disagreed with what you just come said. Come back in about half an hour. So you could, you could preach again. You could come back right. half an hour. Like many right. historians would disagree with that. What you just said about the, uh, the historical truth in what you've just said about the downfall of the Roman Empire. There's many different versions of that, saying that Jesus, and, and I'm not sure about that myself. In uh, terms of like the black and white and, and right, listen, I, I'm in that world, I'm in, that, I'm in the same realm as an experience of you where we live in duality, man. Where, so if the modernists are saying that there's no right and wrong is what you were saying, I think that's nonsense. We're living in a world where we have cause and effects, the poor right and wrong. Or, sorry. Now, I'm just saying that within that, within that, see, the, 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 the point of what I, I believe religions are doing is that they're trying to get you to have a, an awareness of yourself, an awareness of your actions, an awareness of your thoughts, right? They're, they're, they're doing all this. And religion takes that and says, well, we know, you know, that everyone goes through these kind of experiences of questioning and all the rest of it within themselves. That is just normal, so-called human, humanistic behaviour. What I'm saying is this, that I'm not disagreeing with that, I'm just saying that that is happening for a reason. When people say, what is the purpose of life, you can say what you want, but I'm saying it is about the refinement of what we are, what we truly believe, can, can and what this, we truly can, are. Can I, I hear what you say. Can I ask you this question? Do you think that religious people, whether Christian or Muslims or Hindus, can be intelligent Hindus, Intelligent Muslims, intelligent Christians. Of course. Yeah. Of so, course. so what I would say to you, my friend, is people make their choice. Yeah. People come, become Christians, they become Muslims, they become atheists, and we shouldn't judge people's intelligence just I agree. because, I just agree. because yeah. they've chosen a different path. I, absolutely. Yeah? And there absolutely. are many Christians like Alvin Plantinga, who's a great. Who's, did you know there's a revival in a, in the world today, in the philosophical departments, in the academic world? where many philosophers at the moment are turning to Christianity. Did you know that? And, and I did. And did, did you, you know, know that? Did that you there's, know that? there's this big there's thing big going revival. on with Christianity that the world is flat. There's, no, there's a... No, no honestly, bro. No. They, Alvin Plantinga <laughs> is the leading philosopher in America and is a Christian. Okay. All right, God bless you. Yeah, and you too, and nice talking to you. Too, Thank you. Thanks for your time. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you want me to keep preaching or...? Thank you. God bless you. I'll go for a minute. I'll go for a minute.